Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another great lesson with English Pod. My name is Marco, and I'm Erica. Erica, today we have a great intermediate lesson. That's right. We've got a lesson about love, about love, and about apologizing. Ah, okay. Love and apologizing. They go together. Yes, they do. If, especially if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend, right? That's true. <laughs> okay, so why don't we start by looking at our vocabulary preview? Vocabulary preview. In today's vocabulary preview, we will learn two important words from our dialogue. What's the first word? Knock over. Knock over. Knock over. Knock over. So that's a really simple one. When you knock something over, you make it fall down. Make it fall down. Yep. Speaking of knocking things over, this morning I knocked over my coffee cup all over my desk. Yeah, I saw that. You yeah. almost ruined our lesson plan for today. <laughs> yes, I did. It was all over the place. <laughs> okay, let's look at our second word: explode. 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 So when something explodes, this is what happens. All right, that's pretty clear. <laughs> that's more than clear, I think. So now we've looked at our two vocabulary preview words for this dialogue, and we are ready to listen to it for the first time. Watch out! Ah! Hey, watch where you're going! Oh no, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Oh, uh, I don't know. I feel terrible. I really didn't mean to knock you over. My tire just exploded, and I lost control of my bike. Really, it was an accident. Please accept my apologies. Just let me try to stand up. second. You seem really familiar. I think I know you from somewhere. Yeah, that's right. I think we've met somewhere before. We met at Aaron's place last weekend. What a coincidence. But anyway, I'm glad to see you're not badly hurt, and I should probably get going. I've got a nine o'clock meeting. But here's my number. Call me and we'll exchange insurance information. Ouch! My ankle! I think it's broken. You can't just leave me like this! Are you calling an ambulance? Nope. I'm canceling my appointment so that I can stay here with you. I love happy endings. <laughs> Such a romantic dialogue. Yeah, this guy. Oh my god, he is amazing. I would love <laughs> to meet a guy like that. Like that, like crashing into you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not like that. <laughs> okay, well, I think it's time to、uh, look at some of the language in this dialogue. Let's start with our language takeaway. Language takeaway. Today we have three important words from our dialogue that we will learn for our language takeaway. The first word is familiar. 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 This one I think is a little bit hard to explain. Yeah. So let's listen to some examples on how we use familiar. Example one. Norman Clark. That name sounds familiar. Where have I heard it before? Example two. Do you know where we are? I have no idea. Nothing looks familiar. I think we're lost. Example three. You look really familiar. Did we go to high school together? 
So when something's familiar, you think you know it, but you're not exactly sure. Exactly. Familiar. Okay. Our next word is place. 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 Aaron's place. Exactly. So when we refer to place, we refer to house. Right. So I can say, hey, Marco, come over to my place for dinner tonight. Exactly. Or I could say, um, we're having a party at my place tonight at eight. You might ask someone, how's your new place? Right. How's your new apartment? Exactly. That's a good one. Yep. So place, it's a house. Right. Our final word today is... Coincidence. 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 So again, we have some great examples for you to understand how we use coincidence. Example one. I'm going to New York this weekend. What a coincidence. I am too. Example two. By coincidence, everyone in the room was named Alex. Example three. We met by pure coincidence. One day we ran into each other on our bikes, and we've been together ever since. A coincidence is something that happens by chance, right? Right. You didn't plan it. It just happened. Yeah. These funny little things happen all the time. I love it when these coincidences happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're great. So, Erica, why don't you tell us about a coincidence that's happened to you? Well, uh, the other night I was having dinner uh, in a restaurant and I looked up and I saw my old professor from wow. university. <laughs> it was such a coincidence because here we are in Shanghai and I see my professor from Canada <laughs> having dinner at the table next to me. It was such a coincidence. That is a coincidence. Yeah. Or has it ever happened to you that... You're thinking of someone and that person calls you? That happens all the time. <laughs> That's a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we have learned these three language takeaway words, we can listen to our dialogue a second time, but this time it's going to be slower. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Oh, I don't know. I feel terrible. I didn't mean to knock you over. My tire just exploded and I lost control of my bike. Really, it was an accident. Please accept my apologies. Just let me try to stand up. Oh, wait a second. You seem really familiar. I think I know you from somewhere. Yeah, I think we have met somewhere before. That's right. We met at Aaron's place last weekend. What a coincidence. But anyway, I'm glad to see that you're not badly hurt, and I should probably get going. I have a nine o'clock meeting. But here's my number. Call me, and we'll exchange insurance information. Ouch! My ankle! I think it's broken. You can't just leave me like this. Are you calling an ambulance? No. I'm canceling my appointment so that I can stay here with you. Well, that was much clearer, wasn't it? Yes, that was clearer, and this brings us to Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. In today's Fluency Builder, we're going to show you different ways of apologizing. It's so important to be able to apologize well um, and fluently. Exactly. And you also want to say something different from, I'm sorry. Right. So that's what we're going to show you today. We heard some great expressions for I'm sorry in the dialogue. Let's listen now. I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. Please accept my apologies. I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. Please accept my apologies. Yeah, I feel terrible. I say this one all the time. Yeah, it's a great way of saying I'm sorry. Now, also, if you want to say I'm sorry, you also want to tell the person that you made a mistake, right? That's true. And we did hear some wonderful expressions for I made a mistake in this dialogue. I didn't mean to knock you over. 
It was an accident. I didn't mean to knock you over. It was an accident. Well, I didn't mean to knock my coffee cup over this morning. Exactly. It was an accident. It was. <laughs> Not on purpose, right? Or so you think. <laughs> okay. So all of these phrases are really useful and great for apologizing and telling someone you made a mistake. Well, it's time for us to listen to our dialogue a third time. This time it'll be at its normal speed, and I think you'll be able to understand a little bit better. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Uh, watch out! Ah! Hey, watch where you're going! Oh no, I'm so sorry. Are you alright? Oh, I don't know. I feel terrible. I really didn't mean to knock you over. My tire just exploded and I lost control of my bike. Really, it was an accident. Please accept my apologies. Just let me try to stand up. Why do birds suddenly appear every time? Oh, wait a second. You seem really familiar. I think I know you from somewhere. Yeah, that's right. I think we've met somewhere before. We met at Aaron's place last weekend. What a coincidence. But anyway, I'm glad to see you're not badly hurt, and I should probably get going. I've got a 9 o'clock meeting. But here's my number. Call me and we'll exchange insurance information. Ouch! My ankle! I think it's broken. You can't just leave me like this! Are you calling an ambulance? Nope. I'm canceling my appointment so that I can stay here with you. Great dialogue and great music, right? Wonderful music. <laughs> Who picked that, Marco? Of course, me. I'm a romantic type. I love romantic music. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, speaking of a romantic type, do you believe in love at first sight? I, I kind of do. Really? I, I'd like to believe it. Yeah, well... That if... surprises me. <laughs> well, I think the first time that you see someone, it impresses you some way, and you feel attracted to that person. Really? Yeah. At least it's the first feeling that you get that makes you want to talk to that person or get to know that person. I am the exact opposite. Really? When I see somebody for the first time, my first impression is always wrong. Ah, uh, okay. So if I see someone and I like them at the beginning, in three weeks I'll hate them. <laughs> and if I see someone and I, I don't like them when I first meet them, I, uh, I'll be their best friend. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. love at first sight doesn't work for me. <laughs> I'm sure that our listeners have some stories at love at first sight. Maybe they've met their wives or their boyfriends in this way. I'd like to hear about it. Me too. And if anybody knows the name of the songs we used, also be sure to post it on the discussion board. That's right. Our challenge for this week. <laughs> our challenge for this lesson. Yeah. So that's all for today, everyone. But be sure to go to our website at EnglishPod.com. And as we said, leave all your comments, your stories, and see if you know the name of the songs. Okay. Well, thanks for listening, everyone. And until next time, goodbye. Bye. The English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. Feel terrible. Mean. Explode. Accident. Familiar. Place. Coincidence. Knock over. Regret.
apologetic. Feel guilty. Unfamiliar. Love at first sight. Let's try that faster. Unfamiliar. Apologetic. Love at first sight. Explode. Regret. Feel guilty. Mean. Feel terrible. Place. Knock over. Accident. Coincidence. Familiar. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Mean. 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 Knock over. Knock over. Knock over. Familiar. 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 Coincidence. 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 Place. 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 English learners and welcome to English Pod. My name's Erica and I'm here with Marco. Marco, hurry up! I'm coming! Hurry up, Marco, we've got a lesson! Uh, okay, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, the lesson. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Um, we have a great lesson for you today. We have an elementary lesson. That's right, an elementary lesson about being in a rush and about giving directions when you're in a car. Exactly. We're going to listen to two friends who are getting in a car and they're getting ready to go somewhere and they're in a big hurry. So let's hurry up and listen to the dialogue. Hurry up, get in. I'm in, let's go. Okay, make a left here. No, wait, I meant make a right. Come on, speed up. Jeez, what's the rush? Don't worry about it, just drive. Oh no, the light is about to change. Step on it. Are you nuts? I'm not going to run a red light. Whatever, just turn right here. The freeway will be packed at this hour. Let's take a side street. Go on, get out of our way. Move, move. What's your problem? Jeez, having a fit is not going to help. Here, I know a shortcut. Just go down here and we'll cut through Ashburn Heights. Let's go, let's go. Watch out for that lady. I'm going as fast as I can. Yes, we made it. 5.58, just before the library closes. You're such a geek. So they were in a hurry, and it was all just to get to the library. Well, maybe he was late returning a book or something. <laughs> That's a bit dramatic, just for returning a book. Yeah. All right, why don't we look at our language takeaway for today? Language takeaway. Okay, on today's language takeaway, we have five words for you today, five really important and useful words that we found in our dialogue. So let's take a look at the first one. Step on it. Step on it. Step on it. Step on it. So what does it mean when I tell you to step on it? Drive faster. Drive faster, right? Step mm -hmm. on it. Exactly. You might also say speed up. Speed up, yes. Speed up. That's exactly it. Our second word, speed up. 
also means go faster. Go faster. And what about the opposite? You might say slow down. Slow down. Yeah. Okay, so speed up and slow down. So our third word for today is having a fit. Having a fit. Having a fit. Having a fit. Well, this is a funny phrase, and I think listening to a few examples of this phrase might help us understand its meaning a little bit better. Example one. Geez, you don't need to have a fit. Nothing is going to happen if we're five minutes late. Example two. My boss is going to have a fit if I don't finish this on time. Example three. Oh, I almost had a fit when my boss told me I had to work this weekend. Okay, great example. So, Erica, why don't you tell me what does it mean when you have a fit? It means you get really angry, and you can't control your emotions. So maybe you start screaming, and maybe some steam comes out of your ears. <laughs> okay, that's having a fit. Exactly. Excellent. Okay, let's take a look at our next word now. Cut through. Cut through. Cut through. Cut through. When you cut through something, it means you just go through. Go through. Yeah, quite simple. It it gives you the idea that you go through something quickly. Quickly. So I can say, let's cut through the park. Yep. Or let's cut through the backyard. Okay. Go through.、Mm-hmm. And this takes us to our last word for today: shortcut. 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 This is a really common word, and not many people know about it. Yeah, you're right. It's two simple words that, when you fit them together, the meaning changes. It's a, it's a great example of this real English we talk about. And it means to take a shorter way somewhere. Exactly. So if I take a shortcut, I go the short way. Okay. So going back just a little bit to cut through. If I cut through the park. That's basically a shortcut. Exactly. All right. Okay. Now it's clear. Okay. Now it's time to listen to our dialogue again, but this time it's going to be slower, so then we can understand all these words that we just talked about. Hurry up, get in. I'm in. Let's go. Okay. Make a left here. No, wait. I meant make a right. Come on, speed up. Geez, what's the rush? Don't worry about it. Just drive. Oh no, the light is about to change. Step on it. Are you nuts? I'm not going to run a red light. Whatever. Just turn right here. The freeway will be packed at this hour. Let's take a side street. Go on, get out of our way. Move, move. What's your problem? Geez, having a fit is not going to help. Here, I know a shortcut. Just go down here, and we'll cut through Ashburn Heights. Let's go, let's go. Watch out for that lady. I'm going as fast as I can. Yes, we made it. Five fifty-eight, just before the library closes. You're such a geek. Okay, well, I think that was a lot more clear this time. You know, there was some great language in that dialogue, and I would like to look at how we can put it together. Putting it together. Okay, so today on putting it together, we have three phrases for you, and we're gonna show you how you can use these phrases like a native speaker. Okay, so all of these phrases we heard in the dialogue. Why don't we start with the first one? Make a. Make a. So in the dialogue, they say make a left here. Yeah, and we can extend this phrase to say make a right.、Mm-hmm. 
That would be the equivalent of saying turn left or turn right. Turn right. And there's one more. Make a U turn. Exactly. That means turn the car 180 degrees all the way around. Make a U turn. So make a left, make a right, make a U turn.、Mm -hmm. If you're ever in a taxi and you're telling the taxi driver where to go, this is the perfect way. Make a left here, make a right there. Okay, so let's move to our second phrase, and it is Are you nuts? Are you nuts? Are you nuts? So this is a great way of saying, Are you crazy? Are you insane? Are you mad? So, when would we use a phrase like this? If somebody has a bad idea that you don't agree with, you would say, Are you crazy or are you nuts? So, Marco, let's stop this podcast right now. Are you nuts? Okay, I think that's a good example of how we can use this phrase. Yes. So, are you nuts? Are you insane? Are you mad? So, let's listen to some examples of Are you nuts? Example one. You want to get married now? Are you nuts? You, you only met her three weeks ago. Example two. Are you nuts? I'm not going to cheat on the exam. What if I get caught? So I think that's clear. And now we can move to our third phrase, which is let's take a side street. Let's take a side street. Let's take a side street. Again, so if you're in a taxi, this is a great way to suggest a route or suggest a direction. Right. So we can take this phrase and extend it out with a few more words. We might say, let's take Wilson Avenue. Right. Or Let's take the highway. So let's take a side street. Let's take Wilson Avenue. Let's take the freeway. Okay, so now let's take a listen to this dialogue a third time at its normal speed. And now you can understand everything that's in this dialogue. Hurry up, get in. I'm in, let's go. Okay, make a left here. No, wait, I meant make a right. Come on, speed up. Geez, what's the rush? Don't worry about it, just drive. Oh no, the light is about to change. Step on it. Are you nuts? I'm not going to run a red light. Whatever, just turn right here. The freeway will be packed at this hour. Let's take a side street. Go on, get out of our way. Move, move. What's your problem? Geez, having a fit is not going to help. Here, I know a shortcut. Just go down here and we'll cut through Ashburn Heights. Let's go, let's go. Watch out for that lady. I'm going as fast as I can. Yes, we made it. 5 58, just before the library closes. You're such a geek. Well, this dialogue is all about driving, right? Yes. And in North America, where both of us are from,、mm -hmm. uh, driving is everything. Everybody has a car. When did you get a car? I, well, my car I got when I was like maybe 19. Really? But I learned how to drive and I was driving already by the age of 16. Yeah, that's the thing. In many countries, you have to wait till I think you're 18 to drive. But、uh, in North America, everyone has a driver's license by the time they're 16 years old. Yeah, yeah. I guess everything is so far away that you need a car. Yeah, it's a lot less likely to have.、Uh, Subways or trains to travel by in North America. All right, so now you have all the tools necessary to give directions the next time you're in a car or in a taxi. Well, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now, I want to remind you all to come to our English Pod website at EnglishPod.com, and here you'll find a lot of tools to help you understand our podcasts better. So, with that, until next time, this is goodbye. Bye. Bye. The English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. Move faster. 
Hurry up. Turn left. Make a left. Drive a lot faster. Step on it. Crazy. Nuts. Go faster. Speed up. Get very angry. Have a fit. Quickly go past or through something that blocks your way. Cut through. Drive a lot faster. Step on it. Full. Packed. Let's try that faster. Quickly go past or through something that blocks your way. Cut through. Full. Packed. Quickly go past or through something that blocks your way. Cut through. Drive a lot faster. Step on it. Get very angry. Have a fit. Full. Packed. Get very angry. Have a fit. Turn left. Make a left. Crazy. Nuts. Drive a lot faster. Step on it. Full. Packed. Turn left. Make a left. Crazy. Nuts. Move faster. Hurry up. Go faster. Speed up. Drive a lot faster. Step on it. Move faster. Hurry up. Crazy. Nuts. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Hurry up. Hurry up. The movie starts in 10 minutes. Step on it. I need to go to the international airport, please. My plane leaves in 30 minutes, so step on it. Nuts. You want to get married now? Are you nuts? You only met her three weeks ago. Packed. The stadium is packed. I hope we can find a seat. Have a fit. My boss is going to have a fit if I don't finish this on time. Hurry up. Hurry up. The movie starts in 10 minutes. Step on it. I need to go to the international airport, please. My plane leaves in 30 minutes, so step on it. Nuts. You want to get married now? Are you nuts? You only met her three weeks ago. Packed. The stadium is packed. I hope we can find a seat.